so hello guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> it's me your girl barista neze and this is Nezaville. Have you guys ever witnessed this scenario in school, maybe high school or college, where this plain guy, this nerdy guy, or you know this guy that cannot dress, this guy that nobody really takes note of, is just there, just there in school. And then he begins dating this super hot, sexy cheerleader, very famous girl in school, like all the hot guys want to date her. But she chose to date the nerd. And all of a sudden, it seems like all the eyes of all the other ladies, all the other beautiful ladies, in school we just open and they suddenly start finding that nerdy guy that they have been ignoring all along sexy and desirable and now they all want to date him just because the hot girl in school dated him well welcome to the story of Simon and Portia <laughs> Old Simon is a Nigerian businessman. He was born here in Nigeria to a family of 10, he, his parents, and seven siblings. His father, Stanley, was a senior staff at the Nigerian Prison Services. <laughs> what a coincidence! And retired as an assistant director of prisons, while his mother, Martina, was an English teacher. Simon had his primary and secondary education here in Nigeria. Well, it is said that he didn't finish high school, but at least he started. And then he dropped out and immigrated to the US. Simon first came to the US in 1982 on a visitor's visa and he contravened the conditions of his stay by staying longer than the visa prescribed. He then married a US citizen, Karen, and then applied for an adjustment of status. But that marriage was found to be a sham. A marriage that we back home describe as arrangy marriage and hence the application was rejected. He then left the United States voluntarily but returned again in 1986 with another visitor's visa. And just like the first time, he overstayed his visa once again. Between 1987 and 1990, Simon was arrested severally for different offenses ranging from bank fraud to credit card fraud and an unauthorized use of a vehicle. In 1988, he applied for a temporary residence status under a special immigration program and it was granted. But the thing is that he used the fake name and the fake identity and he did not conform to the terms of that arrangement by disclosing his criminal records. So given that that temporary residence status was illicitly obtained, it was eventually revoked and he was back to square one. He was ordered to be deported back to Nigeria in 1992 and he was forcefully removed from the US and deported. But somehow, just like a cat that has nine lives, he managed to find himself back to the US and applied for citizenship. In 2016, he applied again and it was denied. He applied again in 2020 and it was denied again. He went again in 2022 another denial and last year in 2023 he filed a complaint to challenge this denial in court last month the ruling was given and once again it was denied simon has spent 42 years of his life living in america yet he still stands on one feet besides this citizenship drama he is said to be a successful businessman with stakes in oil and gas, real estate, hospitality, and entertainment. His net worth is valued at about 14 million US dollars. He has been married thrice and he has five children. Now that is a little background information of Simon Guabadai. And it's very important that we have all this knowledge because it will come in handy in the course of this story. So who is Portia? Well, I wouldn't dive too deep into Portia, but what you need to know is that the 43-year-old beauty is an American reality television star and a musician. She was on the reality television show from 2012 to 2021 and then she took a break. And now in 2024, it has been announced that she will be making a grand comeback into the show. In 2009, Portia met a football player, Cordell Stewart, and they got married two years after. But another two years after that marriage, the marriage packed up. Cordell filed for divorce from Portia. She has been married twice and she has a daughter. So having dished out all those background information, let us dive right into the cocoa. So while Portia was on the Real Housewife of Atlanta show, there was this lady, Faline, 
who had appeared on the show in its season 13 series. She appeared as a friend of Portia and she made her appearance with her husband, Simon. She and Simon had been together for five years but married for two. They didn't have any kids together. He already had five kids from previous relationships and she had three from other relationships. So the big question is, how did Simon go from being Faline's husband to now being her friend, Portia's husband? <coughs> Another you and Judy situation, American branch. Despite Portia tried denying that any friendship existed between them, she was like, oh, it's just someone I know. Yes, we hung out once in a while, but it's not like she's my friend. The truth was that these two hung out outside the show. So it wasn't just business. Portia had visited the home of Feline when she was still married to Simon. So there was a possibility that Portia met Simon through Feline, her friend. And there was a relationship. Even if it wasn't best friendship, there was a relationship between Fallin and Portia. So when Portia and Simon announced that they were getting married, it came off very offensive for a lot of people. A lot of people perceived it to be wrong. They were like, why must you marry a man that you met through a sister? Like, why must you marry your friend's husband? Of all the men in the world, Portia, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, you're outstanding. But of all the men in the world, you chose to get married to Feline's husband. To this set of people, they were like, even if Simon is her ex-husband, for the fact that this man had been romantically linked to your friend, whether in the past, present or future, he is off limits. He's out of bounds. But well, not everybody shared the same sentiments. For some of the people, they were like, life is not black and white, hello? Life is full of twists and turns. They were like, Portia has emphasized that she was not the one responsible for their breakup. And she only began dating Simon after he had broken up with Feline. Simon, on the other hand, had accused Feline of infidelity, of sleeping with her former assistant, Jalen, who she proceeded to begin dating shortly after that marriage packed up and who she has a child for now. So they were like, what are we talking about? The same man that her husband accused her of infidelity with is the one she got pregnant for a few months after that marriage packed up. So the man had his reasons for living and he has a right to move on and fall in love. And who sets these boundaries anyways? So to this other set of people, they found absolutely nothing wrong in what Simon and Portia did as long as the relationship commenced after the end of that marriage. So I'm curious, what do you guys think about this situation? Do you think that it is wrong for a woman to date her friend's ex-husband or ex-boyfriend? Especially when that friendship was not deep, if it was just a surface friendship, more like an acquaintance. Do you think that it is absolutely acceptable to be married to that man? Or do you think that that breaks the sister code? Nah, 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 nah. A bot mission, a bot mission. It's out of bounds. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comment section. So in 2022, just after one month of dating, Simon proposed to Portia with a $1 million diamond engagement ring. And then they proceeded all the way to Nigeria for a very lavish and luxury traditional marriage ceremony. After which they returned back to America and held a talk of the town bourgeois white wedding. I mean, Portia had about five to six designer dresses that she took turns changing into. And their cake, oh my God, it was so big that it couldn't be cut with a knife. They had to get a sword. I mean, they had to get Spartacus' sword itself, Valerian steel, for them to have been able to cut the cake. It was luxury, premium or nothing. And after that highbrow wedding, we saw the honeymoon, we saw the vacations from one place to another, private jets, and you know, that Instagram life. And we were like, okay, we are watching. Guys, a few days ago, just 15 months into that wedding, 15 months after that lavish talk of the town wedding between Portia and Simon, Portia has now announced that she will be getting a divorce from Simon. And the whole internet is going gaga, with many people expressing that indeed, karma came early. Now, this estranged couple have not commented 
on the reason for their divorce. But from the situation and the look of things, we can confidently draw up five possibilities. First, it is said that Portia's expectation of wealth was not met. <laughs> Come on. They say do not judge a book by its cover, but Portia as a book <laughs> doesn't need more judging to know what it's about. Portia is a show girl, a glam girl, not a better for worse girl. She may have gotten into the marriage with a high expectation of what the man is what. You know that whole Nigerian prince package? <laughs> it is very possible that she went in there financially driven only for her to realize that that 40 million dollar network only exists on google another reason why a lot of people suspect that this marriage was so short-lived and Portia is seeking for a divorce from her husband of 15 months could be due to his fraudulent past and maybe non-disclosure so it is highly speculated that possibly simon didn't reveal to Portia the extent of criminal activities that he had been involved with in the past and when she got wind of the news that he has been into several fraudulent issues and in fact his stay in the u.s is threatened she quickly picked up her heels and took a walk there are also whispers around that simon must have married portia for papers for citizenship considering the fact that he is so desperate to get citizenship from america in fact the question of coming back to nigeria is not even debatable for him. Despite all the court rejections, we have seen Simon over the years keep going at the application and keep going and going at it. He's not giving up. So some people whisper that it's possible that he married Portia for papers. And such marriage driven by ambition instead of love will certainly not stand the test of time. When you go in, you begin to see irreconcilable differences. You begin to live through the reality that the Instagram glam will not show. And before you know it, all the milk has spilled. It is also speculated that maybe Simon turned out not to be what Portia thought he was. You know, the grass always looks greener and finer from afar on the other side without realizing that the grass is only greener where it is watered. So seeing Simon in the arms of his ex-wife, he looked so appealing, highly desirable. And when she had the man under her roof, in her bed, possibly she realized that maybe he's not all that after all. And with the announcement of her coming back into the show, perhaps she got the perfect opportunity to create the buzz and gain the publicity. And then she dropped the bombshell of a divorce. These are our speculation and assumption. What do you think down in the comment section? The case of Portia and Simon is just the perfect case of an as a man meeting a job man. It is a standard case of grass looking greener from afar. It is an epic instance of losing them just how you got them. Let us know down in the comment section all the lessons that you have drawn from this true life story. So guys, yes, we have come to the end of today's video. If you're new here, you're seeing me for the first time, or if you've been watching without subscribing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, drop all your comments down in the comment section, turn on your bell notifications and stay glued because we have so much more coming your way. Don't also forget to follow me on Instagram at Nezerville and at Neze Pepe Rempe. It's me, your girl, Varys Neze, and this is Nezeville. I'll see you guys in my next one for now. Bye.